Spine shot. So as you can see, spine shot. That's it, buddy. A lot of people don't know it, but you can actually eat these things. Try to dispatch it. Mora. Million and one uses. Good for a ferro rod and killing a sucker. This is a typical white sucker. A lot of people don't realize it, but there is a uh, season on these in New Hampshire. I'm not too far from the highway, but the season on these from March 1st to Mar May 31st, you can take suckers by means of spearing or shooting them with a bow, hence bow fishing. It's a lot of fun. It's about the only fish I think other than carp in this state you can actually take with a bow and arrow and I'd have to double check that. It is legal to shoot them with a bow uh, up until May 31st and uh, these things actually, there's a few good recipes for these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it home tonight. I'm going to shoot a couple more and uh, go home tonight and cook it up. Uh, hopefully do a video and show you a couple of tips. The old timers used to use these in chowders and uh, there's all kinds of uses. They use them for fertilizer but Never, you know, I don't see any sense in doing that now. But you can certainly eat it, and it's one of those things that we just have forgotten about, overlooked. But it's in the, in the spring, you get those sucker runs, and they, they'll sit there in the river, and you can spear them or take them with a bow, as I just did. So I'm going to get a couple of more. This is just a basic, this is a PSE heritage, only a 30 pound draw, because when you're fishing with a bow, you don't want too much power because you'll put your, uh, put your arrow. It doesn't take much to get through that fish, but you don't want so much power that you lose your arrow in the, in the dirt or whatever. So keep it, I keep it down to about a 30 pound draw. Essentially, it's just a slide. It's tied on to the line. And this is, a, as you can see, a arch enemy a reel with a drag, you know, with a cast button and all that. Then you catch it and just reel it in. It's that simple. If that's upside down or not, I don't know. Anyway, I apologize, it's a heritage. And the reel is an arch enemy. Let's we'll see if we can get a couple more. Had a big cloud of mud go by, so that tells me something's going on upstream. So maybe they'll come back down. All the uh, water's cloudy, so there was some, some kind of activity upstream. It could have been a beaver, it could have been a bunch of fish swimming back down. Just sit and wait for it now. I also like to point out <clears throat> without these polarized glasses, I couldn't see anything. William Collins, Finn and Fur, right there, buddy. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this, but I'm simply going to cut off a fillet. Uh, these things have the Y bones, or whatever you want to call them. But what I do is I go right down the backbone, get to the vent, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Once I uh, get it off the top of the uh, ribs like that, once you uh, get over those ribs.
white bones right there. Uh, the old timers. Now this is a lot of trauma in this one because this is the side I shot him in. Um, or it is a male, by the way. Um, you can see it's a white meat. There's a couple different ways. If you cook it hot enough and hot enough grease, those bones, you can actually just eat them right up. There are some white bones in there. My grandmother used to soak them in buttermilk overnight. And that took the redness, that red tinge out of it. But, I mean, I think it tastes pretty good, personally. So, this one here should uh, play a little bit better. There you go. You can see I'm just holding the skin, just like flaying skin in any fish. You can see. Oh, not too shabby. Okay, now we got the... Um real pretty hot. I'm just going to set my fish in. Okay. Nice little fillets. And we've got this stuff. Yeah. I picked up on my uh, latest road trip. Give a little bit of kick. Western Sizzle Bayou Bass. Excellent for all game fish. So see if the sucker is a game fish. Oh yeah, look at that stuff. Look at that. Come that up. Let that saute somewhere away. And there you have white sucker fillets with bayou seasoning, some fresh fiddleheads, a little long grain rice, and <clears throat> This is a little trick I like. Liquid aminos. It's a, because I don't eat soy sauce anymore, because um, it's not good for you. This is a natural soy sauce alternative, and it's really good. It tastes just like soy sauce, if you will, but without the bad side effects. You know, if people have issues with sodium in their diet, triglycerides and all that stuff. But anyway, it's good. I put a little bit on the top, which I'm going to do in a minute, and uh, enjoy this really good dish. Thanks for joining me at my table. Just a, just a little bit of minos on the top. A little bit in the rice. A little bit of flavor. And mm. there are some wide, as I said, there's a few wide bones in the in the back you can pick through them if you cook it hot enough it, you can actually eat the bones i just don't deep fry anything and a lot of people can them and uh that'll take care of it but what i do is i just pick pick through pick the just pick the bones aside just a few it's time to bring back childhood memories spring sucker run fiddleheads peepers are out I remember my grandmother used to say, if you hear the frogs, that means the suckers are running. I don't know. She had a point. <laughs> we used to go out and harvest a lot of suckers in the springtime. Mm. Not bad. 